Hey Gypsies, welcome back to my channel. So I thought I'd go ahead and show you how I make my wings in the air fryer. Um, I have never got wings before that were fresh and these are still together. And I did cut off the end piece of the wing, but I just left them together like that because it really doesn't matter to me. So what I'm going to do is coat these wings. I have avocado oil in this, in this thing here. So I'm going, I've washed them and I've dried them off. So I'm going to put avocado oil in here. I'm going to put some salt and pepper. And I'm going to put some of this sazon. It's right here. I like this seasoning. It's really good. And I'm going to go ahead and throw in a little bit of sriracha salt. Oops. Not a whole lot. I'm just kind of eyeballing this, guys. And a little bit of garlic and herb mixture there. Okay. So now I'm just going to... Well, I was going to toss them like that, but hold on. That bowl is not that great for doing that, so I'm just going to use my tongs, toss them up till they're nice and coated. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is place them in my air fryer. And someone had asked me what brand this is. This is a home, or no, Cook's Essentials brand. So I'm just going to put them around. I only have six, which will equal 12, like regular wings. And that way they won't be too close together. Okay. Alright guys, I'm going to plug in my, plug in my air fryer real quick here, 380 degrees for about 25 minutes, so I'm going to take you on over here with me, I don't know, you probably still can't see it. A little bit. Oh, oh, this tripod. Okay, hold on. Okay, guys, so I got them in here. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the air fryer. I'm gonna go ahead, turn it on, turn my time. I mean, my three, it turned it to 380 degrees of Fahrenheit, and now I'm gonna do it for um, I'm gonna do it for 20 minutes and then I'm gonna flip them. So I'm going to go ahead and start that bad boy up. I'll see you guys back here in 20 minutes. Okay, guys. So I'm getting ready to whip up the sauce to go on my wings. So what I'm going to do is take this whole stick of unsalted butter. I'm going to melt it up in this bowl here. Then I'm going to use half a cup of the Frank's Red Hot. I'm going to use some salt. And I'm going to use some of this Worcestershire, about a tablespoon. So I'm going to mix it up while I'm talking to you guys, and then we're going to check the temperature of the chicken. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I got the butter melted right there. Um, I already measured out the hot sauce here, or the Frank's Red Hot, but my thing just went off here. So what I'm going to do is pull it out here. Hold on. And I'm going to check the internal temperature. Well, no, actually, this is just to flip them. Hold on one second. Hold on. Okay, so this is just to flip them, and then I'm going to cook them for five more minutes, at least, maybe seven, and then we're going to check the internal temperature. So, and they, they're looking good. Look at that. They're looking real good. And last but not least, okay, so I'm going to let them bad boys cook another Let's see here. Let's turn it back on. We're going to go on. We're going to go up to 380. We're going to go up 
no, now we're going to go seven minutes and start. Okay, in the meantime, over here, let's see, I don't really have, do I have a whisk over here? Yes, I do. Okay, so I have the butter melted. I'm adding in the Frank's Red Hot Buffalo Sauce. Okay, doing about a tablespoon of Worcestershire, which I'm just going to eyeball. Oh, my whole lid came off. Okay. And we're going to do some salt. Why not use salted butter? Skip the salt. I don't know. I'm going to take this whisk. I'm just going to get it all ready. When these get out, I'm going to put them in a bowl. And we're going to toss them real good with this. It's so good on wings. I feel like buffalo wings. Butter and Frank's Red Hot Sauce. Frank's Buffalo Sauce. Red Hot Wings sauce and buffalo. So good together. Okay, guys. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, guys. This is getting ready to go off. And what I need to do is check with my little meat thermometer here um, to make sure that the chicken in the thickest part is at least 165 degrees. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. Get it ready. So it says it's 76.8 in here. That's too hot. I am standing by the oven though. So I'm gonna go ahead and get ready because it's getting ready to go off and check it out. We are gonna check it out. <clears throat> this over here. Mm, they smell divine. They really do. Okay, it's off. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out. Set it right here, and I'm going to go ahead and check it. Let's see. Let me find a, oh, I don't know, maybe right there. Oh, I think they're going to be done, because these are not very big, to tell you the truth. Yeah, <laughs> they are done, guys. They are done. Okay, so they are way done. So what I'm going to do is use these tongs. I'm going to put them in this bowl here. Then we're going to put the sauce on them. So let's get these bad boys loaded up in the bowl. Okay. And we'll go ahead and stick this back in the air fryer. Finish that up another day. All right. So the first thing I need to do, I'm going to give this another little whisk just to make sure it's still whisked up good. Here. This I feel like is a lot of sauce. I think I'm only going to use half guys. I'll save the rest for something else for probably tomorrow. Wings for lunch or something. Okay, that's probably half. Set it over there. It'll be easier to wipe up. Now I'm just going to take my tongs. And they're nice and crispy. Nice and crispy on the outside. Probably a little overdone actually, um, just because the temperature was so high. But it's okay. Okay, so that is how I make wings in the air fryer. I'll get all nice and messy eating these. I don't really have a side picked out, and these are not very big, so yeah, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. All right, guys, there's a finished product. What I'll do is put them on a plate, take a picture, and we'll take it from there. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.